GMT has just released Mr. President, and Nato and I are going to sit down and share our thoughts on this great game here on Legendary Tactics. So Nato, I said it's a great game, and I was not joking around. I really <laughs> do like this game, Mr. President. Yes, uh, GMT uh, kindly uh, gave us some early access to their playtest module. Yeah, and, it uh, is. Uh, so I have invested an ungodly amount of hours on <laughs> yes, this game. You, <laughs> you certainly have. You certainly have. And in the time that we've spent, you and you showing me, uh, and we've we've worked through some turns. Uh, it is a lot of fun, yes. and uh, you you really quickly get caught up in this game. Yes, but I want that in this uh, in this video just to give people an idea of what to uh, what to expect, what we like, what we don't like. This is, um, I guess, our review after <laughs> I don't know how many hours exactly but uh we've sp I've, cer I've certainly spent a lot of time with the game so oh yeah so what oh, what yeah. strikes you first of all about the game or what do you like or what what uh what are your thoughts on that well i mean uh, just looking at the board itself the scope of this game is enormous okay and it is uh it is a gigantically uh large ranging <laughs> game it goes from like you know the global issues to the like to to domestic squabbles uh and uh you know and and uh anything in between right and so i i really i really appreciate that but uh it, it's i would say sometimes even a pro anacon because it's uh it, it is enormous it is yeah absolutely it's uh it's one of the larger games just in terms of of scope that i've i think i've ever played i mean certainly there's a lot of uh war games which involve you know i don't know even access and allies is a global conflict but this yeah. one feels more uh, in, more epic, I think, in that just your choice, the range of choices that you have. Are, well, just to give you an example, huge. I mean, I think we calculated there's 30 plus different um, uh, actions. There's you in can and take, around 30, right? yeah. So, right? it, yeah, those are those are just the actions you can take, and we were then looking lear, looking at the turn sequence to realize that there is like there's north of 50 action or 50 <laughs> diff, 50 different uh, sections you know, um, sections of the turn sequence to go through. Yes. Um, yeah. To complete one year. Yeah, <laughs> so, yes. If if you get so, reelected, <laughs> settle in. It's gonna be. It's gonna. It be is a going good... to be a, a bit of a marathon. And you know what? Though that's that's part of what a solo game is all about, right? Yeah. It's, it's about investing uh, yourself into the game and really getting uh, really getting caught up in the narrative that it tells. And I think this game tells a great presidential narrative. Yeah, I think it does. Now that said, the, the the on board game geek it's listing it as a full game at 10 hours. That may be optimistic in some yeah. depending on how fast people play. Uh, I mean, certainly with familiarity, the gameplay will uh, speed up, but I also fear that it may be longer than that. So right, you got to right. make sure uh, that you have it set up in a safe spot away from the the cats and and the kids and every and everything because you're gonna, oh for sure yeah. you're gonna probably have to come back to it yes. and it is a it is something where if, if you know the table gets bumped and there's oh boy. and all the counters go places yeah you're you're not gonna be able to recover this <laughs> it's not, you're not gonna no, be able to no, remember you, you, where you, everything you, was well and that's that's part of a daunting thing with me is as far a drawback is is the number of chips involved in this game in the tiles the tile length like there is a lot of tile yes. length. Um, the the digital version for us has been such a clean, great uh, way to to approach the game. But yes. uh, I think you know there's nothing like the tactile uh, on the table as well too. So there's yeah. there's that to appreciate. Yeah, I'm curious to see how uh, how it how it plays with all the the tokens. Um, I think it makes sense, you know, to organize your tokens in a way that is common. So in each region where you are placing uh, these these. Uh, chits you want to yeah, make yeah. sure that you have it organized so like you know the the russian and chinese influence is always on the top and the civil wars are always on the bottom and that way you you can scan it the the board faster and get a, a better reading of where things are at because otherwise yeah it's going to be a very busy uh, uh space. yeah, yeah <laughs> board now yeah. you're the rules you are a rules guy here nato and yeah. what would you say what was your thoughts on the rules and implementation of the rules and even um and how to how to maneuver the game itself from a rules perspective um it's there's actually not I, I, there are a lot of rules and there aren't it's more just the there are procedures and you walk through those procedures as you go so for example you know you can get started up and running fairly quickly but you're going to be referencing uh 
a lot of booklets that are part of the game and that's just the way it is like so for example you know you move along the path and then russia and china will act well that's you know that takes a little while to work your way through be just because uh you know there's a procedure that you follow with that and you're going to have to be reading that as as you go it's not something you're going to memorize and after a few plays you'll be able to just you know <laughs> just do it on yeah. your own yeah yeah so, totally okay that said the rules i found were very well organized which thankfully is the case because uh um, any epic game like this you want to know exactly what to do so for example this and it's a nice touch so if you look at the uh, the conus the continental u.s yes. uh, region okay. here Mm -hmm. um, if you have a domestic failure, which means your domestic crises get out of control, you see what it says for uh, D10. That gives you a reference that says you need chart 10 in the domestic booklet. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, over, and that's printed right on the board. It's map. printed okay. right on the board. WD1 for major crisis is the world book and you want chart number one. So okay. it, it, it guides you through and it's all, you know, in the, in the, and almost in the fine print, you kind of will notice it um, the more you play. You're like, oh, yeah, they, they, they wrote everything in there. You just have to make sure that you, uh, you, are, you are watchful know what for, you're right? looking for. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah. That, that to me um, makes it uh, not that hard to play and that it is it doesn't feel overwhelming from the sense of trying to understand the rules. It feels overwhelming from the decision space. The, the okay. choices that you have where you're trying to decide, well, do I reinforce my ally in their war against uh, North Korea? Do I um, go and try and take out the terror groups in the Middle East? Or do I try and resolve that civil war? Or should I deal with domestic issues? Should I try and pass Or should I try and get the media on side, right? <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of choices. And, and Oh, yeah. my goodness. So much. Yeah. But then yeah. from your point of view uh, as well, what do those choices lead to? Because I know you were talking about uh, narrative. Yeah, and that's that is one really really cool uh, feature of this game is is you can you just just get caught up in the story that it tells. Mm -hmm. um, those the crisis deck cards, right? With, with from like you know tornadoes striking in you know Kansas or the Midwest, and then all of a sudden you know there's a scandal in the White House of you know maybe the the presidential the the, the, the family you know and something and so there's just always this um, this this kind of churning narrative going on, which I think yes. is really really. Uh, really interesting and then of course you've got like battles with the you know the the chinese the russians and you've got to be um you know the, the just the, the basically the cold war going on there between yeah. the three the three countries right yeah well the, it always it is you have to be prepared for the feeling that the world is going to heck in a handbasket <laughs> because right. exactly you know, it really does it is you're not going to put every fire out no no and you and you can't expect to and for some people that might be off-putting actually because this is this is a, a a puzzle that never gets solved. It's you know there's well, no. Well, you can't resolution. solve all of it. You'll no. never solve all of it. There's no resolution. Sometimes, like you just have to just put up with the fact that you know you're not gonna solve. You're the gonna world, make them the best the of a bad issues. situation. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, but that said, what I what, one thing that I do really like about the game is that it get, it has a very optimistic view of the presidency, and I kind of like that. It's it 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 really shows that the the role of being president of the united states is one which is has a lot of opportunity for doing good you know mm -hmm. for for mm -hmm. trying to save the 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 world this is not a game where you're trying to go to war this is not a game where you're no, trying you're actually to, trying to mitigate war yeah yeah you're not trying to you know beat up on you know any smaller countries yeah. or yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. like Take you're not conquering the world you're you're actually there is uh, even an option, if you can get the world to a certain uh, state, you can actually uh, earn the Nobel Pre Peace Prize and get a bunch of uh, bonuses for that. So, oh, really cool. Okay, yeah. That, so that hasn't come up in either of our games yet. No, but... <laughs> <laughs> no. I imagine I've, it's tough to get. Yeah, it's. A, I, I actually in the game I, I've been playing just myself. I came close inadvertently. I didn't realize I was as close as I was. But okay. But it's neat that it's it's just that optimistic tone, and and it's it's one where you're trying to do good. You're trying to. Um, you know, make the world a better place. And I think that that's a, it's, it's a nice perspective to take on the presidency, especially in kind of these, these uh, 
times where everyone's divided and and mm-hmm. uh, yelling well, at each and other. And it is a nonpartisan game too. I sh- we should mention exactly, too that there's no. Yeah. It stays very nonpartisan. Exactly. Like you'll have Bill Number One Social Security, and that's about and and you either you have your opponents or your the bill that you agree with or bill or that you submit or pass and your uh, bill that the opponents pass, but there's no mention of what that of actual bill content, includes. right? Yes. You know, so it, it, it covers the issues like gun legislation and Homeland security, healthcare reform and so forth, but without any specifics. So there's nothing to get fired up about either way. That's um, right. Yeah. So it stays very nonpartisan. <laughs> yeah. So, so and, and everyone can appreciate that. So yes. that, that's a good, that's a yeah. good uh, way to spin it. And you can imagine it being whatever bill you, you would ever dream of passing. And if you're in that situation, sure. you can fill in yeah. the, the blanks with your own, with your own imagination, whatever suits you, which, uh, which is good. I mean, but there, there is certainly a lot to sink your teeth into with this game. I mean, I, as, as we were looking at the board now and and looking from, you know, uh, the the strategic capabilities tracks to the conflict tracks, to the turn sequence, (laughs) to the, uh, you know, your actual, the POTUS cabinet, to the scandal track, to the, and that we haven't even touched the global issues yet or the, the global, the global arena. Now Um, that said though, I will say that there are moments where, uh, I, I sat back and said, wow, that that's really clever. There, this is a very clever design overall. I think that uh, especially things like, uh, and I know you didn't try this yet, Cax, but the summit, uh, which is uh, where you can call a summit with China or Russia. And okay. it's, it's just a very clever mechanic about how essentially you propose an issue that you, you say, hey, we really need to deal with... Um, you know, the unrest in uh, Central South Asia. And then you roll a die and there's modifiers applied and whatever. But China will say, for example, will say, sure, you know what? We're on the same page. Let's work together on this. And then you you do the action together. Um, the, oh, okay. or, or they'll say, well, hey, we'll help you do that. But we want to have one influence in South Asia in Central South Asia as oh, compensation. Oh, so like at a cost. So then you have to weigh the the choices of ah, is this going to be a good choice or not you know like do i mm-hmm. do i do i give in there to their con- do i give concessions in the name of having a successful summit or do i say no to everything and ruin the relationship and you know and that, so it's it's very very clever there's a lot of things in here that are very clever um and very good. Uh, i think that if you if you play a lot of games um and i imagine the people that are Acquiring this game will have some gaming experience because I don't think yes. it's a light, uh, light. Uh, You're going to game need you to play with the family, um, but I think you'll you'll sit back at moments and just say, "Wow, that's really that's a really clever way of of resolving that." So yeah. Um, but so then, overall, overall thoughts on the game, NATO. Yeah, well, I was just going to say before we get to overall thoughts, just maybe a couple of uh, things that maybe we maybe weren't as much of a fan of, and I know you had mentioned that. Uh, specifically in terms of the turn sequence chart, you had yes. you felt a bit yes. overwhelmed with that. That's that's well, that was overwhelming to me when I took a look at that and going, oh my goodness! Like without without you having to be sort of the guide, yeah, and, uh, and my right hand the wingman uh, leading through, like it would it would be um, it would be too much for me. Yes, but uh, but uh, you know what? Going through the process with you of, of playing this game has been. It's been a lot of fun. Yes, yes. And so um, I, I think the scope can be an awesome thing, but also an, a very daunting thing as well. Yes, when you I take think a look it at can that. be. Yeah. Um, and so I think it's 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 a benefit, but it can also be a potential drawback. Yeah. The other thing is um, there is a lot of die rolling, and that may not be to everyone's taste, uh, because uh, a lot of things are decided by luck, and and so I find that strategy is. Only applied here in a very general sense. Uh, you're mm-hmm. not a lot of times you'll you'll set out to accomplish something, and if the die rules are not helpful, uh, you're gonna you're gonna really struggle. And other things that you don't intend to do happen, and you're like, oh, that's great. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. Glad and actually, that, you, you know. did mention uh, earlier on when we were when we were playing. You said you know you have to appreciate that it is lighter on strategy and more about narrative. Yes, and I think and that's... I, and I thought that was a really cool observation. Yeah, and I think, that, again, if, if you're looking for a heavy strategy game, I don't think this is actually it in, in many ways, uh, but it, it, it does accomplish, I think, everything that it's set out to do. And so just to summarize and give my overall 
uh, thought on it. I think it's it's um, it's a game that I've been following for on on uh, Board Game Geek for a long time. This has been seven years in development, mm-hmm. and to be honest, I think that it actually not only met my expectations, but it, I think it exceeded them in a few areas. It gave me exactly what I was looking for, but it surprised me with the the narrative and and the the depth of that narrative and the the story that it uh, that it ends up telling and just the the level of of detail without all the kind of rules overhead i i thought it was um it 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 accomplished very well laid out eh? yeah it was everything that i had been expecting and i'd been following i'd been reading all the articles online and everything about what to expect but even then it still kind of exceeded my expectations Oh, excellent. Um, so, and what excellent. about for yourself? What's your uh, overall for, impression? Well, I, my overall impression is that I love the fact that basically this game begins on day one of the presidency. Yes. So the election is over because generally the election is where games start, right? Mm-hmm. And I love that this this uh, this game upended that whole idea and said, no, you're going to start on day one. Yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Become be president. You yeah. know, and I, I just I love that idea. I and I, I yeah, I, I really love how you just get caught up in the story this game tells. And yeah. I think that's probably my favorite part of this game is um and, and we've sat down to play and you know, an hour will go by and I'm be like, I, I want to keep going. Well, you know, well, it's getting late, but I want to keep going. Yes. Because I want to I want to <laughs> find out what, what the next chapter is going to bring. Yes. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, so as long as I think if you go in with the right expectations, you know, you know it's going to be epic, you know it's going to be feel a bit overwhelming, you know it's going to be long. Um, I think that this this game really delivers. I again, I I'm really enjoyed my time with it, and I'm looking forward to uh, to playing uh, some it more and and uh, you know seeing you know just how each presidency kind of unfolds. Um, so. Yep, and uh, I'm I'm I as well. I'm looking forward to uh, getting uh, getting this to the table, and uh, if not uh, hard copy, then digital for sure. So that's yes. uh, another great option. So we give the legendary tactics seal of approval. Indeed, and... we do. And don't forget <laughs> to take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And don't forget to get out there, get gaming, and be legendary. 